Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? It is your boy B here, bringing you guys another video today, man. We have some very, very, very exciting news today for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and we are actually moving in the right direction, finally, with this game. Sorry about my cell phone. Let me go ahead and silence that right now. But, anyway, y'all, um, we're gonna get into this video here, but before we do, go ahead, drop a like on this video, hit subscribe, um, definitely comment down below what you guys think of this topic that we're about to talk about here, and let's get straight into the video. So, today, man, Charlie Intel just recently posted on their Twitter that Activision has filed a lawsuit against the people who make these hacks and cheats that we so dearly hate in Call of Duty Warzone. Um, these cheaters have been running around in Warzone for months now, months upon months. They've been in here almost damn near since the beginning of the game. Um, Activision, for some reason, hasn't just gotten any anti-cheat software like Fortnite, um, how Fortnite, where, say, if your character is moving really fast, um, your character would basically, like, be banned. Like, there was this set, um, these almost, like, set settings that the developers of Fortnite had to where if those settings were basically broken or, like, if you're the player or whatever was happening was going above those type, those little, like, settings or sliders or whatever you want to call them, you would get banned or the, the system would know you're cheating. Um, so for example, if you go off and you just, for some reason, your guy is hitting headshots from this far ass meter away in Fortnite, your guy would get banned, the, the cheating software would pick it up. Um, and uh, that's something that for some reason Activision hasn't picked up on, where you know, you're know you basically, for some reason, if these people are over here getting more than, you know, if some of these guys are getting 50 plus kills where it's all headshots, <coughs> sorry. COVID. I'm just kidding. But um, some of these guys are getting more than 50 plus headshots or whatever. And it's like, how are they not being caught, you know, for cheating? How are these guys are getting banned? You guys see on the leaderboards, you can actually, um, you can actually check on the leaderboards, man. Um, I'm gonna look right here. Some of these, these, these leaderboards for the damn war zone. I'm gonna go ahead, go all Activision. The top two guys have a 25.91 KD. He's ranked four. The other guy is still ranked 139. For some reason, hasn't been banned. 20.33 KD. Averages 35 kills. The top guy averages 45. The third guy, um, he's level two. Pretty sure he's been banned or it's a new account. Um, 51, 50, uh, 15.41 KD ratio, 34 average kills. Like number seven guy averages 31 kills. Like come on now. Like another guy, number 16 on the leaderboards, averages 45 kills. Like how have these guys not been banned? I don't get it. Um, why are they still on the leaderboards? You're taking spots away from people who actually deserve it. On the leaderboards um, that needs to go ahead and be fixed immediately but um, with that being said you know so basically let me go and get to the, the lawsuit with Activision here so basically the lawsuit of Activision they basically sued the companies who make these hacks and now these hacks will no longer be in the game um, a lot of these companies have actually disabled these hacks now um, so a lot of people shouldn't be hacking we should run into a lot less hackers um, I don't know how many companies actually design these these freaking hacks but um, the way it seems, maybe they all just bought from this one website. A lot of word of mouth just probably got spread around. Um, I'm not really sure how these cheats uh, got around, other than you just go on our website and buy them. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, anything else? How many companies are making them out there? I'm sure there's probably a lot because a lot of people in Warzone are sad and and trash at this game to where they need hacks. But let me go ahead and just read <clears throat> the announcement message here on my uh, on the screenshot. You guys could follow me on the video here. Uh, as some of you may know, Activision Publishing Incorporated has filed a lawsuit against CX Cheats and has made it clear to us that, uh, or sorry, it's a little bit blurry, made it, clear to, made it clear to us that our services violate their terms of use. As a result of our lawsuit with Activision, we have agreed to cease development and support for Call of Duty related products or services sold throughout the site. These products will not be turned into CX cheaters in any form. You should also be aware that th uh, using third party tools in Call of Duty may result in suspension of banning your account by Activision Publishing Incorporated or the game's developers. We apologize for any pain we've caused to the players of Call of Duty. Yeah, you've caused a lot of pain and anger and just annoyance to a lot of us. I don't even know why a company would go ahead and make these sheets for a major multiplayer online game in the first place. I don't know who's running that, what idiot decided that that would be a good idea, what money hungry asshole decided that would be a good idea, but that's just plain wrong. You know, there's, there's no room for hackers and cheaters in Call of Duty in any form, shape, or fashion. These Call of Duty cheaters and hackers, and you know, they, you know, Fortnite was taking care of these guys a lot differently, man. Like, Fortnite even went as far as to sue a couple of these hackers and cheaters that they caught. Um, <clears throat> which, Call of Duty, for some reason, a lot of people just get to sit here, cheat, and hack, and nothing really happens to them. 
Um, let me go ahead and read the rest of this article here. Call of Duty Warzone has been experiencing an intense amount of hackers since the game's launch on March 13th on the PC platform. So since March 13th, we've been having to deal with a crap ton of hackers and a crap ton of people who basically just been ruining the game, right? Um, so what is that? We're March is the third of the month uh, of the year, sorry. And we're in the eighth, which is August right now, into August. So for five months, we've been having to play with hackers and cheaters and Call of Duty has done nothing. Um, Activision has done nothing. Um, so it's like, it, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense as to why, you know, this wasn't dealt with sooner. This should have been dealt with month one into the game. I know with coronavirus, that messed up a lot of stuff. But you got to think, five months, you're telling me nothing could have been implemented at all. You know, even with COVID, something should have been implemented to where these hackers and cheaters shouldn't have been in the game. Um, it shouldn't have taken this long. Activision, you need to go ahead and get your stuff together. This shouldn't have happened. I'm glad you guys finally took action and filed a lawsuit against these guys, but at the same time, this shouldn't have taken you five months. You know, um, this this anti-cheating software should have been in your game since the get-go. Uh, you know, any type of, you know, I don't know how much anti-cheating software costs. I'm not entirely sure. Go ahead and ask Fortnite because they seem to, uh, they were able to see, you know, take care of hackers relatively quickly and relatively easy. There wasn't really a lot. I never really ran into hackers in my Fortnite game. It was very actually rare. I'd run into a hacker. It'd be like once in like, you know, a hundred and some plus games, you know, that would run into a hacker. Um, let me go ahead and just read the rest of this article real quick, though. With crossplay, the hacks uh, impacted the console players as well. PS4 players have opted out to disable crossplay to avoid them. Xbox players currently cannot disable crossplay for unknown reasons. So I guess you could uh, only do uh, PS4. Warzone, I guess your crossplay doesn't need to be on, but I don't know if they're just talking about multiplayer because for some, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure in Warzone you need to have your crossplay on to play. If I'm not mistaken, I could actually have my game loaded in the background right now. I could actually, uh, could actually check for you guys here. Yeah, so your crossplay has to be. Oh no, you don't have to enable crossplay. Okay. Yeah, I never knew that. It would always tell me to enable. Okay, that's weird. Maybe I just never read the message. But so I guess you could. Um, sucks for Xbox if they can't disable it. I didn't know on PlayStation that you could disable your crossplay. I never knew that. But um, CXG said on Discord that any user found using their software in Warzone will be banned permanently. Any user who utilizes unauthorized third party software to gain an unfair advantage, manipulate stats, and or manipulate game data is subject to penalty. Unauthorized third party software includes but is not limited to aim bots, wall hacks, trainers, stat hacks, texture hacks, leaderboard hacks, injectors, or any other software used to deliberately modify game data on disk or in memory as of now activision has not commented on the lawsuit so i'm actually just waiting to see what activision has to say about this whole entire lawsuit um it, it's it's very good like i said that we finally got rid of these hackers and cheaters um i could feel like i could actually go on a warzone game now and actually be good and actually be okay with playing warzone um you know back back you know like before this this little thing now I, I, now before actually before i say what i gotta say I'm actually curious to see if, you know, when I hop on Warzone today, is there going to be a game where I hop on with cheaters and hackers? <clears throat> or is it going to be, I hop on and I can actually have a day where I'm anti-hack, where I'm, where I'm, where I'm cheat-free, basically, from hackers. Um, I've never used any type of hacks or anything like that in any type of game. Um, to gain an unfair advantage, I've always just played legit. <clears throat> I figured if I'm not going to be good at the game, then, you know, at least I could try and make myself better at the game um, by playing and actually grinding it out. Not being like these, you know, low-life hackers and cheaters. And basically just going in and hacking the game. Ruin it for people like me who play legit. Ruin it for all these bigger YouTubers, all this stuff. Um, you know, and everybody who's just trying to have a fun game and, you know, get a legitimate win with their friends. Um, but these hackers have different agendas. They like to ruin people's days. They like to fuck shit up for a lot of, for a lot of people. Um, excuse my language, but that's just how it is. With these hackers and everything man um, i'm just glad activision finally took some finally took some type of action some course of action and got rid of these damn hackers so you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of you know activision you know with this lawsuit and everything let me know if it's a good thing um you know if for some reason you think it's a bad thing because you know let me know in the comment section below you might just be one of those people who are hacking and now you're not going to play the game because you legitimately suck and you needed those hacks to play it in the first place but I have no sympathy for hackers. Glad, you know, they're going to be getting out of here. Hopefully there's not a company that's still making these hacks or that's going to pick pick up on it and allow people to hack into the game. So Activision, I'll give you a point for this one. 
you guys still need to go ahead and fix a lot of other stuff. That's another video for later. But anyway, y'all, this has been No Much Boy B, man. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you think. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.